Okay, what's up peeps? Welcome back to my channel, JR here. So this time, the video is going to be a bit chill. I'm going to talk about what laptop that I actually gotten for myself because I posted a community post saying that my laptop finally died and then you know, we YouTubers, actually anyone I guess, needs one laptop at least or a desktop. Okay, speaking of desktop, there's a good friend of mine, yes you, I'm talking to you, that actually suggested me to get a desktop. Well, desktop and laptop, there are pros and cons and all that, I'm not going to do uh, I don't know a comparison to the both good and bads of desktop and laptop it's personal preference and I prefer laptop and also I can bring it around anywhere yes spoiler alert this is the laptop hmm Okay, a little disclaimer before we begin. All opinions on this video is of my own. The laptop, I buy with my own money. And also, there is no benchmark or, you know, this graphic card, that graphic card comparison and all that. There is none. This is just my actual real review, real world review thought of my laptop. This video is literally raw. I'm not going to hide anything. Whatever good or bad I'm going to say about this laptop is going to be here. Also, also, probably you guys may or may not know that I'm actually am a kind of of a tech geek in a way I know all that tech lingos you know NVMe SSDs you know uh, calls threads FPS you know screen refresh rate and all that I know all of that yes so no issue you know I would just want to tell you that I know what I'm saying is just that probably I'm not that expert in comparison to other tech reviewers out there so yeah watch with your own disclaimer okay let's start off with how do I select my laptop the basis of my selection well, the major, major deciding factor is obviously the price. Well, me being a small YouTuber on a budget and all that, I would want to keep my cost as low as possible. So my budget is actually just around, I would say, 3,000 ringgit. But then again, after surveying around all the brands and all that, right, 3,000 ringgit, seriously, cannot get you really good laptops. Okay, what I mean by the good laptops is actually I'm looking at high performance processors. Why high performance processors? Because in the market, there are actually two laptop processors type that you should be looking at. There is the U type and the H type. Actually, both applies to AMD and Intel. The U is actually the ultra portable type, which is, I would say, good performance. But then again, it's not as good as the H type of processors. The U type of processors is more towards the ultra portable. I guess that's what the U stands for, ultra portable. So it saves on battery life. If you are doing very high intense productivity work like myself using Premiere Pro for my video editing, U processors just doesn't cut it. So anything that's in the U category, no. So I'm looking at the H. When I'm looking at the H, well, I don't know. I guess H defines it as high performance. I'm just assuming. So when I'm looking at the H processors, the prices is just absurd. If you want to look for a H processor, it's a bit hard unless unless you're looking at the you know the previous year's laptops, the older processor, older generation processors. Well, for me as a consumer, I would wanna if I'm getting something new and I'm getting something today, I would try, I would try to get something as new as possible because you know, let's say if you're buying a laptop that is 2019 or 2018, your laptop is actually one year old even though you just unwrap it from the packaging, if you get what I mean. So yeah, I want to try to get as new as possible so that it gets, you know, the bestest performance, battery life, you know, all that. So my basis of selection, H processors. So what are the H processors that's within 3000? Headache. Okay, to simply put, I am looking at a laptop that gives me the biggest number in terms of everything pretty much. You know, the SSDs, the cores, the threads and all that. With the lowest price, putting brand aside. Well, I, I mean, I don't mind the brand, but then again, if I can get a Dell or, or an Apple laptop that gives me, you know, the biggest numbers, I don't mind. But then, you know, everyone knows that it is pretty much impossible. Uh, my back. Uh. Okay, oh, there's an auntie there. <laughs> So with all that said, right, I can pretty much cut off Intel in my selection because why? With AMD latest processors, laptop processors, 4000 series, H series to be specific, it just blows off Intel in terms of performance and everything that you do. So with 4000 series AMD laptops and then only with a budget of 3000 and then I look at my choices, I pretty much cannot get anything. <laughs> so I have to up my budget. Lah. So with the choices that I have at the moment, it is pretty much just Asus Tough Series and also our very proud Malaysian made brand Illy Gear. And then my choice is pretty much very clear la, comparing the both. It is 
Elite Gear. And the model that I've chosen is Onyx V Ryzen. And here it is. Tada! Can you guys see? Oh, it's upside down. Tada! The logo looks just so cool. And then what I like about this laptop, you know, this is the only laptop that has, I don't know, in my selection. Can you guys see? Four heat pipes. I'm going to show you guys a little sample of how it actually works. So as you guys can see, right, during your heavy use, when the fan is on, all four ports is actually functional. It blows off heat from the processor and the GPU so it keeps your laptop cool. You know, 4 is always better than 2, so no problem with that, right? And also, it feels very nice. It is, I guess it's aluminium on top, but then again, you know, the bottom is plastic. I guess to keep the weight down and all that lah. Okay, so since this is a very very raw video, I'm gonna go through the both pros and cons of this. After using it for about two weeks. Firstly, the pros. The build, beautiful, no problem. Now the performance. Let me tell you, oh my gosh, with the Ryzen 7, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you my specs. This is the spec that I gotten. Yeah, I, I would say I pretty much just selected the Ryzen 7 4800H processor and the rest I just keep it stock. You know, I don't want to blow my budget. I could have upgraded the GPU, all the SSDs and all that, you know. With my major use is pretty much Premiere Pro for editing videos. I need very high performing processor. The rest, I can deal with it, no problem. So the performance, as compared to my 3 year old Laptop. That one is a U series processor. That's why I tell you guys, if you guys are looking for a high performance laptop processor, go for the H series. This is what I got. Compared to the U one that I got, that I've used last time, oh my gosh, it's day and night. As I render a 10 minute video for my YouTube, my old U processor laptop take me one hour. No joke. 60 minute plus plus, depending on how, ma how many things I add into the video. 60 minute minimum. This baby, I tell you, not even joking, 10 minutes. 10 minutes to render a 10 minute video of my kind, you know, on my channel. This one, ah, every cent is well spent. Yes. Ah, holding it for a bit long. Okay, heavy. So, with that kind of a render time and performance, I guess you can get with other brands. It, it pretty much comes to the processor. So, if you can find, you know, within your budget and you like other brands that gives you the same processor, it will give you the same performance, I guess. Okay, let's get to the design. Did I, did I mention enough about the design? The design is so... You guys cannot... I guess you guys cannot see, right? Even though it's a very high performing laptop, it doesn't shout gamer. Like, not it's not a loud looking gaming laptop, unlike, you know, like the other brands, Asus, MSI and all that. It has red accents with LED lighting and all that, right? This one, it pretty much looks very plain. It's, it's plain in a good way. The only gamery part of it is the LED backlight. Well, LED backlight, you can set it to white or you just turn it off and then the whole thing looks like a very businessy laptop that you can even bring into your, you know, client meetings and all that. Mm. Okay, I need to talk about the screen. The screen, I selected the default one. I did not did any configuration, which is the 120Hz. As compared to my previous, you know, standard stock 60Hz screen, you know, a lot of reviewers said that this screen is very bad, but then I'm not nitpicking and because that I don't have another choice on my hand, I am content with what I have. So this screen, I would say, is good. The only thing though, the brightness. The brightness, I tell you, if you use it outdoors or at cafes, you really need to punch the brightness high and with brightness high consumes battery life you really need to bring the battery charger speaking of the battery charger i tell you this big chunk of a thing is pretty much as big as my phone but thicker okay it's no joke it's heavy you just need to keep that in mind when you're getting this I don't know whether do they or can you use another smaller kind of a charger i guess cannot lah because you know the voltage difference and all that so yeah big fat battery charger keep that in mind okay what else i'm missing oh the fan oh yes i should also mention Elite gear there is also another model that i'm kind of considering because of the price that is quite similar is the raven se the raven se the the big deal breaker for me is actually the intel processor and also the dual heat pipes dual vents and dual fan. With that said, you know, if you guys know anything about laptop cooling, the better cooling you can do for your laptop, the better it performs. So with four heat pad, blah, 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 blah. so with four heat pipes, four vents, 
two fans on the Onyx V Ryzen is pretty much no brainer. Mm. <sighs> okay, so now we come to the con. Number one biggest con that I feel personally is the long waiting time. So I ordered my laptop on the end of June and I received it at the end of July. And then that is itself is about one month of wait. So for me, I don't like to wait for things, especially for laptop, which is I'm very excited about. For those that cannot wait, this will be a problem to you. If you can, if you can wait, no issue. Make your order. <clears throat> okay, number two is that Illigi doesn't provide full versions of Windows in all their laptops. So you need to you need to keep that prepared at the back of your mind that you need to activate Windows. However, you activate it. I'm not gonna judge. So yeah, you cannot you cannot enjoy the full features of the laptop right out the right out of the box. You need to get things done, set it up, then only you can use it. Whereas as compared to you know other bigger brands, Dell, Asus and all that, you guys can just buy. Everything is just there, you can use it. So yeah, next thing I wanna comment is the screen wobble. Let me tell you, the screen wobble as compared to my previous laptop is no joke. I don't know whether is it only to my specific unit or is it only to this model or is it to all Illigia laptops? I don't know but then if it is only my laptop, you guys can let me know in the comments down below so I can contact Illigia and send it for repairs. Thanks. Okay, the next very bad thing is the battery life. The Onyx V Ryzen only lasted 2 hours and 30 minutes while typing up this review in Google Docs. Let me tell you, if you didn't bring the big fat charger with you, I can pretty much say you cannot get anything done. It's, it's like for myself, right? I'm often worried that I'm just looking at the battery life. Oh my god, every 10 minutes I'm looking at the battery life, it goes down, it goes down, it goes down. It's very bad. I pretty much am using it for light usage, web browsing and a little bit of Excel sheets and all that. And it only lasts me for two hours plus, not even three hours. So yeah, you need to keep that in mind. You know, Illigia, they have an option to install a bigger battery, but then, you know, with my budget constraint, so yeah, bigger laptop charger it is. Okay, remember the four vents that I've mentioned? Because most of the time, I'll be using it with a mouse. So if the fan is pushed out on both left and right side, if you're gaming, hot air will definitely be released. So if your mouse is on the left, regardless, left or right, both sides, you will feel the heat. You will feel the hot air that's coming out from the laptop vents. Okay, from here onwards, it's pretty much me nitpicking because as compared to my old laptop, one of the not very good feature is that the lid doesn't hold at the right angle. It's like it only up to a certain angle, it will close, it will force close itself. It doesn't hold at that angle. As compared to my older laptop, it holds at any, pretty much any angle, even the slightest, slightest, I don't know what you call it, slot, it still holds. Whereas for this one, it shuts close. And another thing is the laptop doesn't open with one hand. I guess that's not really a big thing. Oh, one more thing is the Ethernet port. The Ethernet port is on the left side of the laptop. I don't know, can Illigia put the lap Ethernet port at the back? Like the rest of the unimportant ports that you don't use often. The HDMI, the charging port, the Ethernet port. Can you put it at the back? Because the size is pretty much the things that you use often. USBs, you know, headphone jack, that is good. But the Ethernet port though, why is it on the left? <sighs> oh yeah, one thing I would like to add is the future service of Illigia products. Well, me personally haven't experienced it. However, from the internet comments, you know, all of the users, they, they said that Illigia service is actually quite bad. So I don't know if, if I've experienced it myself, probably I will do an update video for you guys to let you guys know that, you know, whether is it actually good or bad from my personal experience. So yeah. You know what, that's all for now. I hope you guys like my little insight and journey to how I select my laptop and what laptop I'm actually using. Illigia, sponsor me. Thanks you guys so much for watching up to this point. And if you guys don't mind, do give me a like and subscribe to my channel. It, it gives me a little hope that I can do more videos and actually people like to watch my videos. <sighs> Yay! And that's all for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Ciao! Here. Ugh. <sighs>